yes I know. It looks like an airline, a civil aircraft, but no. You are wrong, this is not an airline, what you're looking at is the Tupolev Tu-160. This is the largest and heaviest variable sweep wing, Mach 2 plus supersonic military strategic bomber ever built. Codename, White Swan. But in NATO country, they call it Blackjack. Designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. The Tu-160 has the greatest total thrust, and the heaviest takeoff weight of any combat aircraft, and the highest top speed as well as one of the largest payloads of any current heavy bomber. Before we proceed, kindly press the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon for notification. It is free, so go ahead and do that now. The Tupolev Tu-160, Western reporting name Blackjack, is the world's largest operational supersonic, variable-sweep wing heavy strategic bomber and airborne missile platform designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s. It is nicknamed the White Swan by the pilots, dwarfing the similar-looking B-1B Lancer. It is the heaviest combat aircraft ever built. Unlike the B-1B, the Tu-160 bomber remains committed to both low-level penetration at transonic speeds, and high-level penetration at speeds of about Mach 1.9. As of 2023, it is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft, the fastest bomber in use. Entering service in 1987, the Tu-160 was the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. Series production was at Kazan and continued until 1992, when President Yeltsin announced that no further strategic bombers would be built. Production totaled 35 blackjacks, including two prototypes. Also there were some incomplete airframes. This bomber was extremely expensive to build and to maintain. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the newly independent Ukraine inherited a fleet of 19 160s over half of all the Tu-160s in existence at that time. Following protracted negotiations, 11 Ukrainian Tu-160s were purchased by the Russian Federation while the remainder were scrapped in the late 1990s under the non-Lugar Cooperative Threat Reduction Agreement. In November 2015 during the Russian military intervention in the Syrian civil war, conducting numerous airstrikes using KH-101 air-launched cruise missiles, various overseas deployments have been conducted, including to distant nations such as Venezuela and South Africa. Since the early 2000s, the active fleet has been subject to several upgrades, largely focusing on various electronic systems. The 2160M modernization program of existing models began with the first updated aircraft delivered in December 2014. Plans announced in 2015 called for the delivery of 50 new build 2160MS as well as the upgrading of 16 existing aircraft. Full citation needed. In January 2022, the first serial built TU-160M made a test flight, with two planned for delivery in 2022 from 10 on order. In 2002, the Russian Defense Ministry and COPO agreed to modernize 15 160s In July 2006, the first overhauled and partially modernized aircraft was accepted into Russian service after testing. It reportedly received the capability to use conventional weapons but was not upgraded with new avionics as previously planned. The first modernized aircraft, capable of carrying the new long-range KH-555 conventional cruise missile was delivered delivered to the Russian Air Force in April 2008. A follow-up contract for the modernization of three more aircraft is estimated to cost RUR 3.4 billion, 103 million US dollars. In November 2014, a 2160 upgraded with new radar and avionics performed its first flight. The aircraft was delivered to the Russian Air Force as the 2160M model in December 2014. Design. The 2160 is a variable geometry wing aircraft. The aircraft employs a fly-by-wire control system with a blended wing profile, and full-span slats are used on the leading edges, with double-slotted flaps on the trailing edges and cruciform tail. Titanium constitutes around 30% of the aircraft's 110-ton, 
240,000 pounds, empty weight. And the largest component, the swing wing hinge, weighs 6 tons, 13,000 pounds. The 2160 has a crew of 4, pilot, co-pilot, bombardier, and defensive systems operator, in K36 LM ejection seats. The 2160 is powered by 4 Kuznetsov and K32 afterburning turbofan engines, the most powerful ever fitted to a combat aircraft. Unlike the American B-1B Lancer, which reduced the original Mach 2 Plus requirement for the B-1A to achieve a smaller radar cross-section, the 2160 retains variable intake ramps, and is capable of reaching Mach 2, 05 speed at altitude. The 2160 is equipped with a Probandrog in-flight refueling system for extended range missions. Although it is rarely used, the 2160 has an internal fuel capacity of 130 tons, 290,000 pounds. In February 2008, 2160 bombers and IL-78 refueling tankers practiced air refueling during air combat exercise, as well as MiG-31, A-50 and other Russian combat aircraft. The aircraft carries a TSNPO Lenny Nets Obser K, NATO clam pipe radar for tracking ground and air targets, and a separate Sopka terrain following radar. Although the 2160 was designed for reduced detectability to both radar and infrared signature, it is not a stealth aircraft. Weapons are carried in two internal bays, each capable of holding 20,000 kilograms, 44,000 pounds, of freefall weapons or a rotary launcher for nuclear missiles. Additional missiles may also be carried externally. The aircraft's total weapons load capacity is 40,000 kilograms, 88,000 pounds. No defensive weapons are provided. The 2160 is the first post-World War II Soviet bomber to lack such defenses. In 2020, officials stated that the Russian Aerospace Forces is planning to arm the 2160 with new hypersonic missiles, in particular the KH-47 M2 Kinshull. The 2160 is painted with anti-flash white, giving it the nickname among Russian airmen White Swan. On September 16, 2023, commander of the Long Range Range Aviation Lieutenant General Sergei Kobilash announced that Russian Tu-160s were outfitted with the newest KHBD cruise missile with range of 6,500 kilometers. Each bomber can carry 12 missiles separated on two rotary launchers. On November 11, 2021, the Belarusian Defense Ministry announced that two Russian Tu-160s flew on a training mission over Belarus alongside Belarusian Air Force Sukhoi Su-30s. The type was involved in the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. According to Ukrainian sources, on March 6, 2022, a Tu-160 along with a Tu-95MS strategic bomber launched eight cruise missiles, presumably the KH-101, at the Havryshivka Vinnytsia International Airport from the Black Sea area. On June 26, 2022, Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Yuri Ayanat reported four to six KH-101 crews. Missiles were launched by two 160 and two 95 MS bombers at Kiev from the Caspian Sea area. Potential operator said it in 2022. Retired Air Chief Marshal Anup Raha revealed in response to a question that India was interested in purchasing two 160s. Reports have emerged that India is in talks with Russia to acquire six Tu-160s that will make India the only country other than US, Russia and China to have operational strategic bombers.